Hi folks, welcome to Bart Makes Things. Today I continue working on my rock, rock, rock octopus. Today I continue working on my octopus robot's arms. Bart Makes Things! The arms all connect at the base of the body. They needed like an anchor to really work well, so I've started working on that. Jay, a friend of mine who I was working on that light up Polaroid frame with a while back, found himself in possession of an extra monoprice mini Delta and thought to himself, I bet that Barb would get some use out of that. Yes. Yes, I will. The mini Delta is doing a very good job with the arm discs and some other small pieces and is letting me print minis for my D&D game at home. But the body of the octopus needs a larger print bed. Enter Crash Space Printers. Back into Fusion 360 for some more modeling. I made a cylinder, 30 millimeters tall and 100 across. Rather than just embedding eight of these discs around it, I opted to transfer the holes to the actual ring. Initially, I tried using the shape itself as a tool to cut the ring body, but that function only let me do one hole at a time. Instead, I copied the circles onto a sketch and extruded it into a cutting tool. Much quicker. There we are, eight discs mounted together in a ring. Now, I know that those flanges are important for attaching the tube, so I made just that piece and patterned it all around the ring. Theron, my hero, fixed Crash Space's new proof set, so I was able to print up the base ring I just modeled. I reassembled an arm, making marks and holes every 15 millimeters, and attaching some of the smaller discs. Then I hooked it onto the base ring. Here's the thing I'm seeing with this. If there are any weak spots, any spots that are too long, it's not going to curve neatly, it's going to just bend in that one spot. And I wanted to do, I wanted to do the curve, because it's, it's an octopus arm and it should curl like that. But I think at the base it needs to be stronger, I think I need to have from here to here, it should be all one piece, I think. Which means another print, but I kind of needed it, because I made it too thin, it's too bendy. The size I think will be pretty good. So I want to try reprinting this with uh, thicker walls and with the first disc out as just an extension of the ring to give it more of an anchor. I also need to print the parts that will attach these wires to servos so that I can run these with a microcontroller. Should be fun. I know. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I think it needs to sing. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how-tos. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.